Hello, students. Now I'm going to go through the sheep eye dissection. I will do my best. I'm here alone doing this video, so I will try and keep everything in frame as best I can. The first thing I want you to notice before I cut into the sheep eye is that we see a lot of the extra ocular eye muscles. Eye muscles that you learned in class like superior rectus, inferior rectus, etc. The next thing I want you to notice is this structure here. That is the cornea. And the white substance here around the sides, that's the sclera. The cornea and sclera are part of the fibrous tunic. Now I'm going to cut into the sheep eye and open it up. Bear with me for a while. All I'm doing is cutting a circle to separate the anterior eye from the posterior eye. Again, I'm just separating anterior portion of the eye from the posterior. So here I'm going to flip the anterior portion down. I'm cutting through the sclera, some orbital fat, and those extrinsic eye muscles that I just talked about. Almost there. Okay, so now you can see that I have separated the anterior eye from the posterior eye. Let's cover the anterior portion first. I'm going to tip this over so you can see into the anterior portion of the sheep eye. The first thing I want you to notice is this black mushroom looking cap. And that black mushroom looking cap, which I will show again on an eye model, is the ciliary body. This flat structure here that I'm holding up with my probe it's smooth muscle, and that's called the iris. The ciliary body is also made up of smooth muscle, but it looks ribbed, like a mushroom cap. Around up here, you can see portions of the choroid, the choroid, ciliary body, and the iris are all part of the vascular tunic. Now, as you saw in another segment, if I stick my probe in front of the iris, but behind the cornea, my probe is now in the anterior chamber of the anterior cavity, which would be filled with aqueous solution. It is difficult to demonstrate on a video, but I'm doing my best. Where my probe is now, is behind the iris, but if I were to put the half of the eye back, it would be in front of this structure here, known as the lens. Then that means my probe, posterior to the iris, but anterior to the lens, would be in the posterior chamber of the anterior cavity. When I give you a video on the eye model, it will be more clear. I'm going to remove the lens. That's this hard structure here. This jelly substance that is going with it is the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor is found in the posterior cavity. That's found posterior to the lens. So I'm going to scoop all that out. And now we can see 
this yellow substance all around. That's actually the neural tunic or the retina. I'm going to scrape that off so you can see what a delicate layer it is. Deep to it, the vascular tunic starts to show through. Specifically, we could see the dark choroid shining through now. So all of this substance that I started to scrape off is the retina. All of those axons exit through the blind spot found at the posterior side of the eye. And those axons are going to exit, as I just said, and they will form the optic nerve. I'm trying to find a part of it here. I don't have enough of a stub of the optic nerve to really tell, show you. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let me just scrape away some of this fat and extraocular muscles. And this nub right here, right there, that's the optic nerve, one of your 12 cranial nerves right there. And again, all of these axons weave through the blind spot and will create the optic nerve.